This is our Godot C++ maze tutorial. We left off with a Visual Studio project that hasn't been attached yet to our Godot project. We will do that in this video. So here's our C++ project. To connect it, we need to register our class root and player. And that is all the code changes we should need to get this connected. So let's switch over to Godot. We're going to add some files in here. And I need to set file name extensions to be visible. So we are going to create one called mazecpp.gdnlib. This will be our library file. And then I'm going to make a file for each of the classes. So we want player.gdns, gdnativescript. And then we want a file for root.gdns. And let me put that S back in there. And then we want to, I'm gonna open these in Visual Studio for editing. You can, you can edit them in anything you want. We are just doing plain text editing in these files. The GDN lib file, we want a general tag, and then we are going to put singleton as false, load once is true, symbol prefix, we're going to do Godot underscore. And then an entry, we want Windows 64-bit to be root of the resources, libmazecpp, x64, debug.dll. And dependencies, we don't have any. So let's put Windows 64 and then an empty list. And that's all we need for GDMlib. For our native script files, we need to specify a GD resource. It's going to be type native script and load steps to format to. Then external resource, we need the path, which will be resource root mazecpp.gdnlib. The type of this file is gdnative library. And then we want an ID of one. On our resource tag, our resource name for this file is player, and our class name is also player. And our library is external resource one. And Section unfolded equals resource. You can also set up these files in Godot itself, but I find it easier to do it via text. There's other people doing tutorials for that and such. So in our 
root gdns file we're going to copy paste the player over and just change player to root in resource name and class name and that's all we need now let's launch godot and get up and running with our code On main, we are going to connect a script and we need to change it to native script. And then we want to change the name here to root because we have a different name in our C++ file than in Godot. And then in player, we are going to add a script and it's called player.gdns. So there we go. Save and run it. And we can now move. And we see a couple problems, but we can move around. We can only use our arrow keys. And our background is not staying behind us. So let's go to player and let's go to the black background and we're just going to make it bigger. So we're going to set its position to minus 1200 minus 700 and then we're going to make its size 2400 by 1400. And that should give us some wiggle room. And now it seems to do what I want. We're also going to add WASD in project settings input map. So left is A, right is D, up is W and down is S. Now we should be able to use WASD. And then we want our exit to be, we made it the wrong type originally. It needs to be an area 2D so that you can walk into it instead of a static body. And then I'm going to rename it area 2D as well so that I don't get confused. Now I can walk around with WASD and I can walk behind the exit. The draw order we're going to leave like that because we're going to have a screen that says you won, so it doesn't really matter if we're in front of or behind it. 